Okay, hello, I'm Sammy. I'm with TV Grapevine. How are you guys today? Not bad, yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. So my first question for you, what's your favorite memory of the show? There's, uh, I've been asked this a few times, there's a lot of, uh, of memories uh, that are fantastic, but I'm just going to go with the first one that's popped in my mind today. And uh, back in season one, the first time I uh, ad-libbed a line, it was, uh, here's a tip, it's really hard to get tuna out of your dick hole. And uh, that was the first time I uh, made the cameraman laugh so hard that he shook the camera. And that sort of became the uh, the measure for uh, for funny on the show, is if you could shake the camera, then uh, that was the uh, as funny as you could get on Letterkenny. So, uh, and that was also like the moment I was like, okay, uh, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I've arrived, I'm contributing. I love that. And in what ways do you think your character evolved since season one? Um, the character changed a lot. Originally, originally Dan was written for me. He was written uh, for Dan Petronievich, who played McMurray on the show. Uh, I was the second choice. Uh, Dan uh, had to pass on it because he was cast in Suicide Squad. So uh, I stepped in and, and definitely uh, brought a different feel to the character. Uh, originally, Dan was written a bit more uh, lascivious. He was... Uh, he was talking about, you know, uh, sex with hookers and, and doing too much cocaine. And uh, over time, he became uh, this softer, sweeter, more sensitive guy who was studying women's studies at an online university. Uh, yeah, he went from being a recovering cocaine addict to uh, I, I've seen him referred to as a feminist icon on some pages. So. Uh, definitely from where he started, he ended up in the spot. I don't think anyone saw him going. That's incredible. And what characteristics of his do you wish you had, or in what ways do you think you relate to him? Um, you know, I, I honestly wish I had a bit more blue collar in me. I was a theater school guy. I've, uh, I've never worked the land, uh, <laughs> Closest I've come to blue collar is a uh, line cook in family themed restaurants. But uh, uh, I think, you know, we definitely share uh, a, a tenderness. Um, Dan's a nice guy at heart. And uh, I like to hope to think that I am too. And, uh, you know, but uh, despite uh, our tenderness, we can be tough guys. And uh, I think that was an important thing to have a character that shows that, that you can be, uh, soft and sweet, but also not one to be messed with. And what's one storyline you wish you had that you didn't get to the chance to do? Uh, I mean, you know, in, in this final season, I wish we got to see a bit more of uh, of Dan uh, at the Dick Farm, uh, actually trying out the Mennonite life. Uh, if anything, just so we could get some have gotten some scenes with uh, Jonathan Torrens and Sarah Wayne. Uh, who were absolutely phenomenal to work with. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think there's a lot of stories that still could have been told in Letterkenny. Uh, we still don't know what, where anyone's parents are. It's like the children of the corn there. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could have seen more, too. I feel like we could have gotten a lot more. I think you guys did an incredible job. But since I'm almost out of time, I want you to describe your experience on the show in three words. Uh, in three words, geez. Uh, time well spent. I love it. I absolutely love it. Trevor, you are an icon. You're incredible. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to talk again soon. Thank you so much for having me.